Welcome to the Crazy Hack Chemist. So today we're doing another video on periodicity. So let's get moving. Bang! So, why atomic radii decreases across a period of increasing Z. Okay? So, as one moves within a period from left to right in the main group elements, the value of the principal quantum number N is constant. However, as one moves from left to right within a period, a proton is added to the nucleus, increasing the nuclear charge, and an electron is added to the outer shell that was previously established, and of which already had an electron or electrons. This causes the effective nuclear charge, i.e. Z star, to increase, resulting in an attraction of the nucleus by the protons of the electrons this attraction more than balances the repulsion between the electrons, thus decreasing the radius. The effective nuclear charge, Z star, is the charge experienced by the outermost electron or electrons. This explains why the 2s is less than the 2p in terms of energy. That's the 2s is lower in energy. Z star, or the Z effective nuclear charge, is equal to Z minus S. The S is the inner shell electron. So I'm going to give you three, a few examples of these right here. So if we take lithium, the Z star is equal to 3 minus 2. That is, there's the atomic number is 3, and there are two core electrons, so the Z effective is 1. Let's take the next element, beryllium. Z star is equal to the, uh, uh, the atomic number, which is 4, minus the inner electrons, which is 2. So you get a Z star of 2. And let's look at one more here, and that is boron. And that is, the atomic number is 5, minus the core electrons, which is 2, and that gives a Z star of 3. Okay? All right. So, continuing on, the transition elements have another trend as one moves from left to right within a period. This whole section is from left to right because it's increasing Z. Hopefully you realize that. As electrons are added to the D subshell, and knowing that the D subshell is interior that of the larger principal quantum number N of the S type. So, for example, it's 4S then 3D that corresponds to it, 5S and 4D, okay? Hopefully that makes sense, okay? The size continues to decrease approximately until the orbital is half filled. So in the D subshell, that would be five electrons approximately. However, upon further addition of electrons, pairing electrons in the D subshell, the size increases because of the electron-electron repulsion in the D subshell. And this should make sense because you're placing now a paired electron where you already had an electron in an orbital, and that's why you have electron-electron repulsion, and that's why the size increases. Okay? That was another crazy hat video. And I got another crazy hat for you. I love this hat. Is it a wizard hat? Okay. If you know of anybody that needs to learn some cool chemistry, then please send them my way to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you next time for more cool chemistry videos. Until then, bye now.